I was in a sewing mood so I woke up really early this morning and I made these knit pants. These are the McCall's knit pants that I really love. I've made these a couple times. I was debating whether I'm going to keep them like and wear them out in public or if I want them to be PJ pants because they're so comfortable and I purchased this fabric from Joanne Fabrics. I'm actually on my way out the door, but I wanted to slip on these pants so you can see how they fit. I'm wearing a McCall's dress right now that I made a while ago. These pants are really comfortable and they were a little bit long, so I did cut off an inch at the hem. This is how they look in the back. And this fabric is so soft. I really love the fabric. But yeah, here we are. It's been about a week now since I made these pants and they've just been hanging up in my closet. And although I really like them, I noticed that I haven't been reaching for them because I want a top to match and nothing in my closet is in here that I really want to wear with this. So I decided to go to Joanne Fabrics the other day and they happened to still have some of this fabric on the shelf. So I picked up some and I made a top to match. I decided to make the Vogue pattern again that I've made like three times. I've made the hoodie twice, but this is my first time making view A and I really love this fabric and I'm really happy that I decided to make a different view this time, but this pattern is really a great one if you haven't tried it yet. I actually love this outfit so, so much. Both pieces are easy to make and this outfit is extremely comfortable to wear. <laughs> My next sewing make is McCall's 8200. I picked up this pattern because I realized that it didn't call for a lot of fabric and I always have a ton of scraps. So I thought that this would be perfect for a scrap buster. So I went to my closet and I pulled out my box of scraps and I went in looking for as much denim as I could find. And I ended up having enough denim to sew view C and I cut out and made a size eight. There were a lot of little pieces that had to be cut out, so it made it easy for me to use up different sizes of scrap pieces that I had, so that was perfect. One thing I really like about this pattern is that all of the views have a little shearing in the back of the top. Because I was going to be shearing the back of the top, I made sure to use a piece of fabric that was lighter in weight than the other pieces of denim that I used in the top. I used some chalk to draw lines that were a half inch away from each other and then I used some elastic thread to stitch over each of the lines in order to create the shearing. I did use some steam and held the steam over the sheared stitches in order to draw them in a little bit more. I decided to pair this top with the Vogue 1912 Rachel Comey shorts that I made a while ago. I really love this shorts pattern. It has the pockets in the back that I think are so cute. The top is rated as average and the shorts are rated as advanced. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So we got here a little bit early and we're hanging out in the bar area. 
but pretty soon we'll be able to go in and get a seat in the comedy room. So this should be fun. I don't know. We're gonna see you tonight. Okay, well, I don't know who we're gonna see tonight, but we're gonna go ahead and get in line so we can get in here. So the comedy club was really cool. I did send my french fries back because when they came out, they were kind of cold and they just didn't taste very good. On my way to Walmart, I'm gonna pick up a few items with one of my relatives. And then I actually wanna go to Ulta. My eyes are watering, it's cold out here. I wanna go to Ulta to pick up a concealer because I bought a concealer not too long ago and I think it's a little too dark and the good thing about Ulta is once you give them your phone number they have a history of everything you bought and then you can just go ahead and make an exchange and make sure you're getting the right color so that's what I'm gonna do today also now I can't remember what I said I wanted oh bacon eggs maybe some pancake mix you, oh here it is right here let's get that I think I'm gonna get some um, Pancake mix. I don't even see it. You see it? Oh, cool. Let's get that. All right. Good eye. Just purchased my new concealer. So I had a MAC concealer at first and I exchanged it for a NARS one. So I think I'm gonna like that a lot better. I was craving some hot chocolate and normally I'll have like a packet and then you know, I'll just pour the dry powder in the cup. I didn't have any packets so I looked up a recipe online. It was so simple. All it called for was a little bit of cocoa powder, vanilla flavoring, a pinch of salt, some milk and a sweetener of your choice. I left out the pinch of salt, but I added everything else. And then I also added a little whipped cream on top. So simple and it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. 